right now at Ian's current maximum wind. It would be the fifth strongest hurricane to strike the U.S. mainland on record, Stacy. Just very alarming fact there. It is. And our chief meteorologist, Jeff Berardelli, is standing by. He's got the very latest on the track, as well as any change or shift in that wobble we've talked about. Yeah, so far we haven't seen a shift in the wobble as of yet. However, of course, it is still possible, although it's really, really close to land, as you can see. That is the tornado watch, bot th watch box that is in effect on the eastern side of the storm. As you can see, we've had a number of tornadoes and a number of tornado warnings. But I really want to point your attention to all that lightning near the center. Over the past hour, we've had about a thousand lightning strikes near the center of the storm. Now, that may not sound impressive to you, but it is very rare to have more than just a few lightning strikes near the eye wall. Usually when we see lightning around the eye wall, it's an intensifying storm. In my career, I have never seen a storm that had a thousand lightning strikes around the core of the storm in a matter of an hour. That is just unprecedented. Now, I want to also show you this eye wall. Take a look right here. Uh, you could literally fit three Charlies inside of the eye wall of Ian. Charlie would be about that big. That's how small, small Charlie was. The eye of Charlie was about five miles wide. The eye wall of uh, Ian is 40 miles wide, just to give you an idea of, and the hurricane force winds three times larger with Ian than with Charlie. You can see how this storm is spiraling on uh, as we speak right now. That's a look at Max Defender 8 radar. I'm gonna zoom into it for you uh, to kind of give you a better view of it. We just, um, we just saw the eastern eye wall move across Sanibel Island, uh, Captiva Island around the South Siege Resort, uh, northward towards Boca Grande. They are getting hit really, really hard right now with the core of the system, and there's still a lot of lightning moving on shore. Uh, last I checked, as of 1 o'clock, it still has winds of 155 miles an hour. The pressure is still 937. It has about another 10 miles, so really just another hour or less, before the actual eye right there, the middle of the storm uh, makes landfall to strengthen. So it still has a chance of becoming a Cat 5 hurricane, but it's becoming less likely. 